everyone and welcome back to my month by month update so if you want to see how the last month has gone for me then keep watching so um if you're new to this maybe you didn't catch the other videos that i've done um obviously i started 2024 with a kind of what i want for this year how i'm doing how i'm progressing what my hopes and dreams are um but i didn't want to put all the pressure on to one year collectively i wanted to appreciate that life's gonna look a little bit different month by month week by week even day by day sometimes and i've started doing like a little update as to where i'm up to with my goals and hopefully it will kind of help me stay on track and um, keep me accountable and keep me really grateful for you know every month i've got really um so obviously i'm gonna preface this by saying that i am going to talk about grief um weight body image fitness and things like that in this video um so if that is something that you just don't feel like listening to right now or you feel like might make you feel a bit weird then um i i'm letting you know and you can do with that what you will um but that said um i'm gonna get right into it because i don't want this video to be too long because i'm really conscious of how chatty I am um so uh I think the most obvious thing um that you'll probably expect me to talk about is is grief and the loss of my lovely lovely granddad um I think February was quite hard in terms of, of acceptance really um we lost him um back in January on the 17th I think it was and um I think January was a real blur of like just sort of there are five stages of grief or seven stages depending on who his sort of ideology you prefer um and I really was was in shock I think initially when I look back on the day that I found out um I was very very much sort of guided through the day by Mark and like I'm like when I look back now like I'm really really grateful for him and and for the way that he kind of like took action and I think even on that afternoon I remember saying to him will you help me clean because um it was a Thursday and I would always like clean in the afternoon on a Thursday once I'd finished off the work that I needed to do just to try and get ahead of the weekend and like make everything feel good and I think in my weird state that I was in I was I remember saying to him will you help me clean and he was like no yeah like absolutely and he helped me and at the time like he, mu he must have been thinking like god like she's lost it a little bit but it just it gave me something to do and then afterwards I remember having a nap um because I just I was doing it all like I was cleaning and I was just crying and like I just completely sort of zoned out um and then those coming weeks were just a real like you go you do go through the motions you go through shock you feel angry um you feel angry at the situation you feel angry at the fact that like you couldn't change anything and you feel really like helpless and like oh god what could I have done and like maybe I could have fixed it or changed it but ultimately you learn with time that sometimes like there's just nothing that you you can do the funeral itself was really hard it was really beautiful and my nana asked me to write and read something alongside my uncle so I did and that was really really hard to do at the time but also really really special um and I will always be really grateful to have been asked I think it was a real gift it was just that was a really tough day and then it kind of got us to the weekend and then it was half term and I think I was just really tired by that point um nobody really speaks about how tiring grief is and how like it's basically it does remind me a little bit in in a way of like you know struggling with depression and, and anxiety where you have to wake up every morning and you wash your face and you have a shower and you brush your teeth and then you put this mask on and that mask is your way to get through the day and grief is a lot like that and it's exhausting because you just sort of feel like you just got to keep going and, and keep trying and I've got children and 
So a lot of my grief was stifled and like swallowed whole. Um, so I just had to sit with it quietly a lot of the time. Um, and the kids went back to school last week and I still felt quite out of sorts. But I am with time feeling more at peace. Like I, there will not be a day that I don't miss him and I'm sure there will be days in the future where it will just hurt and I will be angry again and I'll go through that cycle but at the moment now I'm, I'm at peace um, and I'm just trying to sort of pick up the pieces I feel like I sort of left a bit like you've left the house in a rush and you might have dropped things and left plates out from breakfast and there's a, a load of laundry stuck in the washing machine and it's gone all damp and stale and it's kind of like coming back into that house again and going, right, I need to put all of this back together again. That's kind of how it feels. Um, and one thing that I'm really trying to do because um, it's my job and it's also a way of doing him like, like uh, doing him justice and is that um I'm meeting my nana my nana asked me like she loves to walk I think I mentioned that before she's really really fit as a fiddle like lady I've got to say she really she loves being outside she loves moving her body she really sees the benefit from that and she always has done she used to be a dancer when she was younger um, and an incredible incredible woman and she asked me if I would like to walk with her and I always offered right from the get-go like you know Nana if you ever feel up to it and need some company please message me so she did and last Tuesday we went on a walk for around an hour and a bit or something like that and we talked and walked and talked and walked and um she asked me if I'd be able to do it again next week so I'm going to go and see her again tomorrow we're going to meet after the school run and we're going to walk and we're going to talk and I'm going to try and do that as often as I can. Um, I know life will sometimes get in the way. Maybe I'll have a poorly child off one day or maybe work will have a deadline that I can't move things around for. And I know how lucky I am that I can do that. I'm really, really lucky um, that I'm able to choose how to spend my time like that. But um, I think it's the least I can do um, and I really look forward to it. So that is... Um, that is what I'm doing and and it feels good and it feels right and I feel really lucky for it um, and my gramps on my mum's side so my grandma and gramps um, grandma's got um, like she struggles a bit now with her knees but my gramps still really likes to walk and gramps said um, if you ever do it I'll come too so gramps might come with us um, can't come tomorrow but he might come next week and and that is, is lovely and another thing that I'm really pleased about is that you might notice that if you follow me like on Instagram and stuff I've not been to my grandma and grandma's house for ages obviously with everything that's gone on and the grief and the planning and the funeral and the sadness has been really difficult but also um my grandma and grandma's have been decorating and they love to do a bit of decorating my grandma's does especially and uh, they wanted to get new sofas because the sofas they had while they were supportive and you pressed a button you could do that re recliny thing and um, they weren't very comfy for them like they didn't feel like they could sink into them and like really relax so they decided right we're going to freshen things up in the it's a new year this is in january and we're going to get rid of our sofas and um we're going to redecorate so they had the opportunity for a charity to come and pick up the sofas the sofas went quite quickly but then there was a delay like with the new sofas coming and then the carpet. So we've not been able to go because there's been nowhere to sit. Um, and with three children on a Friday after school, it would just be a nightmare if they could like zone out. And grandma was like, do you know what? Like, let's leave it until, until the sofas come. And the sofas are coming today, 4th of March. And I am going to go and see them this Friday if, if they do indeed still want us, that is. And, um, and that's made me really happy too. So that's where that's at. And then I think the thing that's made me really happy this month, and I, I, I did say at the end of the last one, like I really, really hope that I'm in a best place in a month's time. And I think I am. I think I, I really think I am. And that could change. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hope it doesn't, but it could. Um, but my fitness is still going strong. And the best part is, is that people are really starting to notice. And 
I mean, it can be quite difficult, can't it, when you do lose weight and people point it out because it's always meant well. Um, but then it's a bit like, oh, did I look bad before or this, that and the other. But to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it because it's just... It's just a nice feeling when someone tells you you look nice, isn't it? Like Mark especially has been like, oh my God, you can like see it so much. He's been like so supportive, but I've had friends that have noticed. Um, like I went and got my nails done earlier and Ash, who I've not seen since before, um, it was the week before the funeral. Um, she was like, you, can, you look brighter. There's something about you, you just like, you look, you can see it in your face and you look like happier and brighter and lighter. And I, th I think I do, I really think I do. And I'm still not gone near a scale. Um, but I've had some non-scale victories as you might call them. So old bras, um, you know like with bras sometimes, if you do like, I find sometimes um, at that time of the month, you know where you can get a bit of water retention, your boobs get a bit bigger and a bit more tender and then suddenly some bras that I have I don't really enjoy wearing as much. Um, but some had just got to the point where I put them on and I felt like they were digging in, they weren't comfortable, I was having like a double boob thing going on um, and I just like left them in the back of my drawer. But I've been pulling them out again and like not only do they fit really well but like some of them even feel loose, like I've got one on today and I put it on the loosest band just assuming that that's what I'd be. But I definitely need to tighten it because I can feel it moving up and down my back and that feeling is just so nice and there are bits and bobs in my wardrobe that I've probably just left and not picked up as much and because they've either not fit as nicely or not fit at all and um, I've just gone oh one day one day and do you know what I'm really glad that I've hung on to them um, and there are like trousers and stuff that I'm getting back into that I just I felt like I was like stuffing myself into them before um, and I'm really excited to get all my spring and summer dresses out and try those on because I mean part of me is hoping they still fit because I don't want to go and get like a brand new wardrobe and stuff but maybe they'll just fit more nicely um, and things like that and I'm, I'm feeling really good it's mentally for me I really need it right now and I'm going four times a week I'm really committed to that. If for whatever reason I can't go on the day that maybe I normally would, I will find a way to go on a different day, whether that's like morning, evening, noon or night, whatever. And I've noticed, obviously you'll know that I'm a big like Apple Watch fan and um, fitness fan, you know, the app that comes with it. Um, so basically it looks like, so this is where I'm up to at the moment and it's where am I up to so I've done 100 minutes of exercise today I've been I've got seven out of my 12 standing hours done so far and I'm on 13,647 steps and what you can do when you do an exercise is that you'll get like a heart rate result based on like where you were in that workout and I was discussing this with Mark because basically you've got zone one zone two zone three zone four and zone five and those zones are kind of in indicative of how much you are working your heart and like how intense the exercise is and so mark was saying like try and get into zone four a little bit more and i compared what my heart rate was like when i was doing a lighter version of the exercise that i'm doing now back in the beginning of november versus where i am now doing like basically double the intensity and um like my heart's performing so much better and it's just those little things like suddenly the number on the scale doesn't really matter too much because if I went on the scale and say I was building muscle because I've been doing weights and I've been like when I do cardio I'm doing resistance or I'm pushing against a force every time I'm on the cross trainer if I've been gaining muscle and maybe gaining weight and not losing visible weight on the scales, that could have deterred me. And I hate the thought of that now. Like, I don't want to do this because the scales are something. I want to do this because my body is telling me things. And, like, I feel good. Like, little things like, um, I always notice it. I don't know if it's just because my legs feel so light after pushing on the cross trainer. But when I walk home from the gym, and that's another thing, I always walk to and walk back from the gym to really optimise it, so to speak. 
but I'll like walk back and my legs just feel so much lighter. I feel like my legs are almost closer together. I feel like little things like tying my shoelaces it just feels easier. And I didn't even notice the point where it was hard. It's almost like I'm just noticing now that things feel better. And I don't really see any signs of myself stopping um, because I'm now four and a half months in and I haven't stopped even during some really tough times and um, even over Christmas and I feel like that's just a really positive thing for me and I am human I've tried everything and anything over the years um, and different bits and bobs but it's always felt like it was not quite for the right reason or maybe I wasn't being honest with myself about how I felt whereas now I just feel really really motivated and I'm just really reminded that life is so short and I just want to be doing this for my grandma bod there's like a thing going around isn't there at the moment where it's not for our bikini bods it's for our grandma bods and I am already you know I'm already a few steps behind most people because I've already got arthritis, I've already got hearing aids, there's a lot of things that I've already been battling and um, I just want to give myself the best chance so that maybe one day I can go walking with my great-grandchildren or something like that. And kids-wise, this is another thing that really struck me, it struck me at the weekend and I shared something on my story it was just a photo of a load of trainers that I'd lined up because about five minutes previous to that it just looked like Windsor's do you remember Windsor's the shoe shop and you just go in and it'd be shambles everywhere just shoes all over the place it looked like that in my hall some of the shoes were on the rack and I think in total there were about eight 11 slash 12 year old boys in my house upstairs and um, it's noisy and it's chaotic but what I really love and this is what I wrote in my stories is that they know they can come here they know that they can knock on the door and I will say come on in and they know that like this is a place where they can hang out if it's raining and like they're really really welcome and I've always wanted that for my children and you'll probably remember maybe I think it was it last year and the year before where I was a bit like oh wow this is really weird with Stan starting school and like feeling quite emotional and grieving in a different way that like change of my status as a mother like I'm this middle mum I'm this mum that is not not a mother to older children quite and not a mother to younger children quite just like this group in the middle and then I'm torn apart because I've got high school on the radar now and then I've got like early years like key stage one and then Daisy's like in key stage two and it's all like all these different elements of life and the clubs and it's so busy now life now when my children were younger I was tired and I was lonely and it's probably why I started all of this in the first place um, because it was a way to just shout out into the void <laughs> and hope that somebody shouted back um, and it wasn't just an echo um, and it gave me so much comfort and like so much I don't know it was a real sense of community and then as my children have grown up I don't vlog as much anymore because life is really busy because I don't want to put them on camera I mean to be honest don't even have the time sometimes <laughs> to just it's so hectic like those those days those slower days where I put them down for a nap and I'd you know get some work done and then I'd fold some laundry and then I'd go and do the school run and then we go to Lego club at the library like none of that exists that that pace of life is very different now whereas like today alone when I go and do the pickup, I've got to quickly make packed lunches, quickly make a tea that I can get into them before five o'clock because then I've got to take two of them to swimming. Then Mark will come home and he will walk the dog and then we'll get home and then eventually at some point after half six seven will probably manage to eat but there'll still be laundry to put away in between all of that there'll be reading books that I often do with the child who isn't swimming at swimming while we're watching so I'd be like well done darling yes and the frog jumped over the log and it's all is everywhere and I, I don't know I just I feel like every week I do the same thing but it never fails to shock me or surprise me or creep up on me and I'm always running out the door I've always got a 
keys in my hand and I've always got bags and this, that and the other and there's notifications coming through my phone and it's chaotic and it's busy and it's messy but I love it and I no longer... I no longer feel sad that this is where we're at. I will always miss every day that I get to spend with my children because I'm all too aware of how fast it goes. Um, especially with Bill being older in a way that he is, um, it sort of reminds me that I sort of not have a second chance with the little two, but his, he's in such a different place that sometimes I go, yeah, no, I need to commit that to memory. I need to appreciate this, but then I need to make sure I'm there for him. And it's all very, it's messy, it's different, it's its crazy, but I'm really, really grateful. I, I, I love my kids so much. They're doing so well. They've not had an easy start to the year. I'm not about to sit here and tell you about how they coped and how they felt and what it was like for them, because that's you know, those are, that's for my ears as their mother. Um, but they're doing so fantastically well and I'm so proud of them. Really, really proud of them. Um, one thing that um, is really lovely news and like special news is that Bill's actually going to become a big brother again in August. Not, not by me. I'm obviously with his dad. So that's something really new um, and exciting for them. And, you know, like life has just changed a lot. And I think that... All those years ago when we split and like there was just no love there anymore but now I can step back and sort of see like we've all come so far in our own ways and you know life doesn't have to be full of mess and complications and nastiness and I'm really proud of the way co-parenting has gone over the years and Bill's obviously at an age where he has more of a say in like where he is and what he does but um you know there's been so many different things going on and I'm just really proud of the kids and then yeah I think my hopes for the next month it's Stan's birthday next week it's Mother's Day this weekend it's my mum's birthday coming up as well um we've got Daisy's birthday in April so it's all like it's a busy time of year for us because all my babies are spring babies so we've just kind of got to brace ourselves and get organized and um now I've started talking about that I've made myself a bit anxious to be honest because there's so much stuff that we need to sort out but it will be fine I'm really looking forward to the sunshine the flowers I'm looking forward to getting out in my garden again because I'm always on a quest to make that garden nicer every year and obviously there's lots of weeding and jobs to be done from winter um, and I'm just yeah I'm really grateful for the change in seasons it's been really sunny today I've actually not worn a coat and um, just big hoodies instead because I've not really felt like I've needed it after the gym and stuff um, but it's given me hope and there are still going to be days where when I see the sun I always think oh, I wish I wish my granddad could see this today he'd really like this today um, I'm just hoping that maybe you've seen it up there and you know it's given me um, some optimism and some stuff to look forward to that I think I really need and yeah that's really kind of where I'm up to I am feeling really hopeful I think that is the word of the month <laughs> So March better be kind to me. I'm looking forward to Mother's Day this weekend coming up and um, spending time with family and just being very appreciative. And if it could warm up a notch, that would be lovely as well. I put some laundry on the um, line yesterday. It was just some towels just to test it and they dried. So that's making me quite excited because I do like getting my laundry out. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little update and um, I hope it just serves as a reminder that like everybody has ups and downs and no matter where you're at in your up or down on your roller coaster at the moment, like you're not on your own and hopefully you get an up very soon if you need one. Um, I feel like I'm climbing like on the big one uh, in Blackpool where you go to and you're climbing up slowly. I feel like that's where I'm at now. Um, and there might be a little loop the loop here and there coming that sends my head going a bit, but I feel like I'm in a place to manage it. And yeah, it's gonna make the most of it. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.